Hello and welcome back to the Coding Circus. And today we are going to look at some fun stuff in Vizard, putting information on the screen like we have in the past, but we're going to dive into looking at text 3D messages. And then we're also going to look at um, how to change the message once the program has started running. So let's dive in and look at some code. There we go. Um, you can see that I have my viz.go message here and there's all my imports are above it. Then I have a new thing called text 3D and we've seen how to add text to the screen on the bottom there but this time we're gonna add some 3D text. And you'll see it's very similar to adding text on the screen. We're gonna give it the message and we're gonna send it position, but then I also figured I'm gonna adjust some properties of my 3D text. And I can do it separately by calling these uh, methods for the text 3D object that we just created. So we can set the scale and I'm gonna make it smaller so it doesn't appear really, really big. I can set the alignment. Now, align center bottom is a constant that is stored in Vizard, so it automatically knows where the center bottom is. You could also kind of guess where the other ones would be. So there's a center top, there's a, le there's a left bottom, um, there's a left top. We can kind of figure out where all those would be. There's a middle in there, so we can figure all this out. There's a, a text color, so I'm gonna change the text to blue. And then also to show comparison, I'm gonna add in my screen text, viz.addText, and this is gonna say text on the screen, and I have to put in that viz.screen so I know where it goes, right? You remember how to add that? We did that before. Viz.screen puts that text on the screen. And then I kinda of did this out of order. I'm gonna change the message here to, I can say, I can change the message in text 3D to hello world if I want to, but you know, that's actually not all that useful here because if I do that, let me just show you, this is the new message, okay? I'm gonna, we're gonna come back to that line in a second. The, when it starts, it's supposed to say hello world, but when it runs, it's gonna end up saying this is the new message. So let's run it. And you can see it says this is the new message. Uh, it's off screen a little bit, sorry about that. But, and then at, at the bottom here we can see where it says text on string. The problem is that we have not given any kind of time to allow the message to change. I think I have an extra command in here. Somewhere in here, oh yeah, I got all this stuff. I'm gonna delete all this, I don't need all this right now. Give me one second. Okay, you may have noticed I have down here this vizact.onTimer. This is a built-in uh, object inside of Vizard that allows actions to happen. But the arguments that have to be sent to the timer are two arguments. The first one is a time argument that tells us uh, how much time we want to go by, so this time we're gonna say three seconds. And then I have to send a function that I want to happen as a parameter to that event. I don't wanna put in all of the stuff, all of the code that goes into that uh, event right there. I wanna create, a, put a function there. So it refers to the function and calls the function. So the function in this case is gonna be called do stuff. And if I go up here, I can see that I defined my do stuff. And the first thing I wrote is uh, my text through the message is going to be, it's going to say do stuff. And then my text message is going to say on the screen is going to say now. It's going to do those two things. But it's going to happen after three seconds goes by. So I'm going to leave this as hello world. Let's get rid of this line 14 so we can see that it's really kind of just changing the message for us, but happens immediately. We want to say hello world. And then, and we want to say 
text on the screen, but then we want to wait three seconds and then call the do stuff method, which will change what is said on the screen. You also notice that I did not add an environment in here just to get it to run faster. If you wanted to add your 3D environment and have your text show up in your 3D environment, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm just trying to get it to run a little bit faster for these demos on my laptop. And you can see it says hello world and then bang, it switches to do stuff. And then this down here switches to now. So this timer event is gonna be useful for us as we create a story within our VD, uh, VR world, maybe we're navigating through, we're flying through, we want different things to pop out at different times. Uh, we want different text to show up at different times. This idea of events that are triggered by time are going to be very useful for us. But we're also going to have events that are triggered through other things. And that's going to be the topics that we're going to talk about in the next um, unit. This idea of using a function, though, is going to be really important. This function that we're going to execute for this time event is going to be the same kind of functions that we're going to write to execute for a, a grabber event or to execute for um, other kinds of events that can occur inside a wizard that wizard can receive, maybe a mouse click, maybe an arrow click, all those different kinds of events that wizard can receive. So this is all for now. This is just a little bit of a example in Vizard that you can go in and play with and then maybe work on an assignment. And I will see you next time.